guys! Today I'm going to be talking about my hair! Cause it's full of secrets! And everybody wants to know them. I have been getting a lot of questions about my hair lately because if you are new to my channel, I have had the craziest hair growth ever. Like in the history of ever, it just seemed like I blinked my eyes and my hair grew five inches or something. Anyways, I had a lot of comments on one of my most recent videos asking what my magic voodoo for my hair was. So I'm going to tell you guys just some simple things that I've been doing to kind of help. But honestly, I don't want to get your guys' hopes up too much because there truly is no secret uh, magic formula for making your hair grow longer. It's all just a waiting game and it really depends on you personally, if that makes sense. I personally have always had a super, super thick hair. When I was in high school and like younger, I just remember being so embarrassed of how hairy I was like all the time. I was just always embarrassed. My underarm hair, my leg hair, all the hair on my body is super dark and it's thick and it's coarse and it's embarrassing and I never liked it but I guess I can be thankful now when I look back at it that was so dumb because my hair is like what makes me me I guess so let's just get right on to it because I don't want to keep going on and on about my hair <laughs> I usually try to do kind of every two to three weeks is make sure that I am taking the vitamin biotin uh, my bottle looks like this and I take the 1000 mcgs of this and this bottle it has 150 soft gels in it and they only cost me like 250 they're very very cheap and you can get them at any drugstore, pretty much anywhere that sells vitamins is gonna have this, but it's really good for hair growth and nail growth as well. And I actually took it straight for a month and it literally stayed in my system for a long, long time. I had to take a break off of it because it was getting to be where my hair was growing so fast that I would shave my legs one day and not even halfway through the day I'd feel my legs and the stubble was already coming through so I was literally having to shave every single day and it was getting really annoying so I decided to cut back. It just depends on how fast your hair is growing. If your hair barely grows at all then obviously you're going to want to take it more often. So. I use that and then I also always take Geritol. I just bought a new bottle of this but it's kind of hard to find because my mom said that this used to be what everyone took when she was younger and now like when I go to Walmart there's literally only this one box like there's not other brands. Geritol Complete is the only brand that they had there so this pill is my baby and you will be hearing about it in another video late later but it's like seven dollars and you get a hundred tabs and I just take one tab a day so when I wake up in the morning I just take this and it I feel has helped my hair and my nails to be stronger so I take that and the biotin so another factor in my hair growth honestly is living where I live I'm from Kansas and if you guys didn't know that that's where I'm from. When it starts getting towards summertime in Kansas, our weather is very, very humid. And we could have one day where it's really humid and then the next day it's like a dry heat. But humidity makes your hair grow really fast. Like, I do have to shave every day in the summer, uh, but it's not that bad. But I also can go and like not put lotion on my knees and stuff and I'm not even ashy because hum humidity like adds moisture to the air if you get what I'm saying and it really really helps with hair growth so during the summer months my hair grows really fast and during the winter it grows super duper slow so another factor for my hair growth is food and 
everybody probably talks about this because I feel like a lot of people I watch here on YouTube are always like doing health related videos and everything and I always have just been a really healthy eater. I mean considering the fact that since I went to college like mom wasn't there to cook for me so I go out to eat a lot but when I do eat it is always some sort of like meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes are my all-time favorite and I eat tons of vegetables. I'm not a fruit person at all. I really, I eat like strawberries and apples on occasion, but I don't like fruit. I eat meat and potatoes. Protein is, oh, I love any, I just love hamburgers and steak and I grew up on a farm and I ate steak all the time. We literally over the summer would have steak at least every other day. And if I'm not eating steak, since I'm not at my parents' house, I'm usually like cooking hamburgers or chicken. So I feel like protein and green vegetables, I feel like it all has to do with your intake because what goes in shows on your outside as well. So just consider, I'm not saying go out and eat meat and potatoes every single day, but I am saying consider the fact of what you're eating because what you put in can help with growing your hair, growing your nails, and just your body in general. So let's move on to some products that I use in my hair. I get asked a lot how my hair is shiny. And when I look in the viewfinder right now, I'm like, yeah, my hair is like shiny to me, I guess. But a lot of times when I'm recording videos, I'm on like second or third day hair. Like today, this is pretty much second day hair. I don't know. I washed it yesterday. So it kind of depends on how you're counting. But so that's a factor because the oil in my hair has started coming out. And when I first straighten my hair, it's super dry. So I use a product called Frizz Buster. And I've shown this in a favorites video. I think I've shown this in another hair video, but it's called Frizz Buster. And you can find this at Walmart. You can find it at Sally. Frizz Buster is just something that I literally take the tiniest amount and put it in my hands, rub my hands together to get it kind of warm and then I just like run it through the ends of my hair and that's how I get the shiniest shininess in my hair. Another product that I use is It's a Tin. I've talked about this, I've talked about this, I've raved about this and It's a Tin is the best product ever. I splurged and spent the $30 on this but it'll last a long time and I just take and do the same thing pretty much that I did with the last product I showed you. And it works as 10 different things. It repairs dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron and thermal heat protectant spray. So it does all of those things in my hair. And I noticed a major difference in hair growth when I started using this. The next thing that I use, I use to prevent breakage. Your hair will not grow if your hair is constantly being broken off. And this happens a lot, like when I watch YouTube videos and people are using a brush and just being like, and you hear it going like, that's the worst noise ever. Like, it's just so annoying because that noise that you're hearing is pieces of the hair breaking off. and that's literally gonna prevent any type of hair growth. I switched from using a brush, I used a brush for a long time, but I switched to this wide tooth comb. Another thing that I use to prevent breakage is I switched from using regular hair ties because usually when I would take those out, you could literally see where my like curly hair had wrapped itself around it. And I started using these hair ties, which you probably see on my arms all the time. They're a little bit more expensive, but one, you can put your hair up in a ponytail and take it out and there's no crimp in your hair at all. And two, it doesn't break off your hair. So now I'm gonna talk to you guys about cutting because I'm sure you guys are like, oh, she talked about all these things, but we don't know how often she cuts her hair. I got my hair originally cut to about this length right here and like this long piece right here and I got it cut there in May of 2011 so since May of 2011 I have been on a mission to get my hair long <laughs> again and I got my hair cut because 
I was just sick and tired of when I had to do my army stuff putting my hair up in a bun it would be like a bun and then another bun on top of that bun because my hair was so long and it also was taking me like 30 minutes to do a freaking soft bun and I knew I was gonna go to basic training and there was not gonna be time for that so I cut my hair short it literally was like a nub this long when I would put my hair up in a ponytail I didn't get my hair cut for a two-month period because I was at basic training and as soon as I left basic training my mom took me to a hair dressers and I got my dead ends uh, cut off and then while I was at AIT which was four and a half months long I went and got my hair cut quite a few times while I was there I think in probably two or three times I got it cut when I came back from training I was doing every four weeks and then it died down to where I was doing every six weeks. And then now the last time that I got my hair cut was probably about one and a half to two months ago. And I don't plan on getting my hair cut until probably the middle or end of July because I realized that I was getting my hair cut when there were not even very many split ends. You are going to have split ends in your hair no matter what. I would go get my hair cut and automatically walk out the door and be like, oh, my hair's so healthy and look at the ends and be like, there's still split ends in there. You're gonna have them, no matter what. The key to hair growth is to stop cutting. Stop cutting your hair every four weeks. Every four weeks is not allowing your hair to grow at all, especially if you have really, really slowly growing hair. If your hair grows slow and you're constantly cutting it, it's just gonna keep getting shorter, and there's really no point to that. My hair was not growing enough to where I should have been getting it cut so it would grow and then I'd cut off what had grown and it'd just be back so it was just staying at a steady a steady length of about like here so I stopped cutting it every six weeks and just started doing it whenever I felt that the split ends were getting bad and every time I go to get my hair cut they're like oh your hair is really healthy do you straighten it every day I straighten my hair a lot and the key is to use crap tons of heat protectant that is what I do um, for my hair to prevent the split ends. So preventing split ends as best as you can can help you to not have to go get your hair cut all the freaking time. So that is pretty much what I do for hair cutting. I'm sure a million people are going to comment on this and be like, that's unhealthy, you can't get your hair, you have to get your hair cut every four to six weeks. You don't. Nobody made a law that you have to get your hair cut every four to six weeks. So if you want your hair to grow longer, I recommend not cutting it all the time. So I'm definitely not some type of hair magic beauty guru here on YouTube. I'm not telling you that there is special hair products that you can use that will make your hair grow. I'm telling you that these are the things that I use that I've noticed a difference and I know you guys have noticed a difference in my hair as well. I really just think that the key is to not think about your hair not growing. Don't think about the fact that you have short hair because if you're constantly thinking about that, it's really gonna feel like it takes forever for your hair to grow. I did that and finally I just stopped caring and now I feel like my hair is pretty decently long. It's getting, it's getting there. But um, I'm gonna leave you guys with some pictures of when I was younger so you can see that my hair has always just like naturally been super thick and pretty long. When I was little I could actually sit on my hair when I went to school. So I guess if you guys uh, wanna keep watching and see some photos from when I was young and embarrassing, then just keep watching the video. And thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.